Okay, so and the way, the way that the machine uses the principle of um, the free end, the principle the, the principle of the pendulum is by basically fixating the base of the sample to the pedestal and leaving a free end on top. Now, rather than applying a swinging motion, what we do here is we excite the specimen in a torsional manner. That means that we have to somehow come up with a way of uh, rotating the top of the sample without actually touching it. So what we do is we um, have developed these electromagnetic coils, um, although I have to give credit to Professor Stokey in the States who developed the concept of the machine. Um, and, and what was suggested for this was to develop a set of electromagnetic coils that will be uh, regulated by one of our control boxes um, in terms of how much power uh, receive and at what frequency they change their polarity. Inside the coils we will find a set of magnets that will react to the polarity of the coils and by doing so we'll basically push uh, the sample in one direction and then we'll, we'll invert the direction and pull it. Uh, and by having four um, coils diametrically opposed to, to, to each other uh, in pairs, uh, what we have is a torsional motion that's concentric to the center of the specimen. So by increasing the frequency of this uh, change and by making use of the very sensitive accelerometer that we have in here, this one, that one there, by uh, making use of the accelerometer what we get is a um, an online response of how much the sample change in terms of its acceleration when excited to different frequencies. At the point that we find the highest um, acceleration, we can integrate the value to find velocity and we can integrate velocity to find this the, the formation. And then making a geometrical analysis, we can relate um, the maximum response uh, or the point at which the energy is dissipated the less the biggest deformation as well, and in that sense we can find the stiffness and the rigidity of the specimen.